Hey guys, Michael B. The Game Genie here. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the news that broke late last night from our friends at Randy's Records. The consummate leakers announced accidentally the next deluxe cabinet from Arcade 1 Up. And guess what, guys? It's a shooting cab. Just not the one you thought it was going to be. It looks like Arcade 1 Up is re releasing the Big Buck Hunter cab in the deluxe format. I'm going to tell you my thoughts on this right after this. So that's right guys, in today's video we're going to be talking all about the Randy's Records leak and it looks like Arcade 1UP is once again releasing Big Buck Hunter, but this time in the deluxe riserless format. We'll have to see what other upgrades are included. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Guys, I appreciate the support as always. And if this is your first time to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. All that YouTube stuff. So if any of you guys are on any of the Arcade 1UP fan pages on Facebook or follow Arcade 1UP YouTubers on Twitter, Reddit, whatever it is, I'm sure you've already saw this news, but Randy's Records is at it once again. Randy's Records is famous for a couple of years back, leaking like pretty much the entire Arcade 1UP game lineup for a full year. This time it looks like it's only one cab, and this one comes out out of nowhere as it looks like arcade one up are re-releasing the big buck hunter cab which was a very popular cab for them everybody seemed to really like it but this time as a deluxe edition now i'm going to be honest guys i was caught completely off guard by this i'm happy to do that this is one of the few years where I really have no idea what Arcade 1UP is coming out with this year. I have no inside information, no content, nobody's giving me any information. I'm going in blind, I'm flying blind. So this is just as much a surprise to me as it is to everybody else. I was fully under the belief that the shooting cab coming out from Arcade 1UP this year was going to be Time Crisis in the deluxe format. I mean, we already saw the prototype leak a while back. It was part of the leaked cabs that were announced by Gamefly going back two years. So I'm absolutely shocked that we're seemingly not getting a Time Crisis this year, and the shooting cabinet's going to be a re-release of Big Buck Hunter. So for those of you not familiar, Big Buck Hunter was a popular hit for our cable one up, I think it was around wave four of their cabinet releases. What was interesting about this cabinet is that, like I've been talking about in the last little while, it says it includes four games, when realistically it only includes two. When you go into them, you get to choose between World and Big Buck Hunter Pro, so Standard and Safari, or whatever, uh, that way it works. But they advertise four on the cabs, much like what's going on with Fast and Furious. So I've been talking about it a lot recently, so it's interesting this is coming up. So you can go on their website, you will notice it's sold out, but it is available through partners, Best Buy, Walmart, it's still readily available at Best Buy here in Canada, and readily available at the Brick here in Canada. So if you wanted to go out and get the older version, you still can, but keep in mind, it's at that $799 price point here in Canada. The price has never really gone down, so I don't know, wait for the deluxe, I guess. But anyways, Big Buck Hunter has been out for a while. Let's go into the product details, take a look at it. So it says four games, Big Buck Hunter Pro, Big Buck Hunter Safari, Big Buck Hunter Pro Open Season, Big Buck Safari Outback. I don't really know how this works, but really when you go in, there's only two games. I guess it's Safari Outback and Pro, and these are just elements that are added in. So you take a look at a classic upright cabinet design, two light guns, two game rifles, 17 inch color LCD screen. So this was originally a BOE monitor, you had no issue there, but keep in mind people were very unhappy about the size of the screen and most people did these ridiculous mods where they put 40 inch televisions in their arcade cabinet with uh, like a kind of a bracket to actually play this game so uh, we'll talk about the screen in a little bit it says matching riser we won't need that anymore and the other one that was really really interesting here is even though this came out in an era where every single marquee Coming out from Arcade 1UP had a lit marquee. This was actually a wooden marquee, and the theory at the time was they were concerned that adding a light-up marquee would impact the Sindon light gun technology. We found out afterwards, I found out personally, that's a fallacy. So that's something that's going to have to be addressed in the deluxe as well. 
Now, if you guys are looking for a review on the Big Buck Hunter cabinet, uh, what the original one was like, I am going to recommend to you guys, go check out Cool Toy's review. I'll leave a link in the description below. Cool Toy, in my opinion, is still the gold standard for covering these home arcades. He's what I aspire to be every time I release a view. Go check out Cool Toy's full review and get a first-hand impression of how the cabinet actually works in detail. So before we go any further, I do want to address the elephant in the room, and that is, what happened to Time Crisis? Does the re-release of Big Buck Hunter Deluxe mean that we're not getting Time Crisis this year? No. But the assumption is, rk one Up only really releases one gun game and one driving game per year. So, uh, you know, reasonable thought would lead to that Time Crisis, unfortunately, has been scrapped, and they're going to come out with Big Buck Hunter Deluxe instead. Now... Don't take my word on that, it still could be two gun games this year, and I hope so, because let's be honest, a lot of people were hoping for a new IP, new release from Arcade 1UP, they were looking forward to Time Crisis because it was exactly that, something they had never released before, so honestly, hearing the news that this might not be coming out, and instead we're getting a re-release of Big Buck Hunter, it's going to be a punch in the gut for a lot of people. So assuming the Randy's record leak is accurate, much like it was a couple years ago, looks like we're getting a new version of Big Buck Hunter Deluxe. Well, I have some thoughts about that, that honestly, the last release everybody really likes, people say it's one of the best arcades they have in their house, gets a ton of play when people come over, but obviously the cabinet had some very serious flaws. So I'm hoping the Deluxe re-release We'll address some of these. Easily one of my biggest disappointments with the original Big Buck Hunter cab was the quality of the marquee and the fact that it wasn't a light up marquee. It had become the standard at this point and it just looks so weird not having a light up marquee on one of your arcades in a line of arcades. So the very first thing what I did once I picked up a Big Buck Hunter, which I actually got on sale this past Christmas for $3.99, was I reached out to Retro 530 and got their amazing light up replacement marquee. Now, I don't think that the cabinet will have something this high quality. Obviously, this is expensive. It goes above and beyond. It's a very awesome piece to add to your machine, but I hope they do retain some elements from it, such as the antlers that extend past the cabinet like the original arcade, and just having the section in the middle that lights up. Honestly, this is one of my favorite upgrades I've ever done to my arcades. I'm not much of a modder. I always feel weird about not leaving it stock, but this was something I absolutely had to do, and it made the whole arcade pop and become one of their best-looking machines. Hopefully, on the Deluxe Cabinet, they have seen the demand for these marquees, they've seen how much people like them, and they can deliver something reasonable for people to have on their machines. If it's another wooden marquee with no light, it's a massive fail for Marquee 1 Up. The next big problem with this machine that I hope they have to address in the Deluxe Edition is the height. By far, this is one of the shortest RK 1UP cabinets to date. The screen is way too low. I don't know if they did this because they assumed that it was mainly going to be kids playing on this and not adults, but this cabinet has to be taller. In fact, almost every single person I know that's ever bought one or once they saw my video that I had picked up a big buck hunter reached out to me and they said, you need to go pick up a Buy Stuff Arcades riser booster to actually bring your big buck hunter cabinet up. And as you can see, even on the earth, look at this, <laughs> even on the earth displayed and my review here, look at this, that they have uh, tagged to the page, Arcade one up Buy Stuff Arcade riser booster review. It's the Big Buck Hunter cabinet that's displayed, and you want to know why? Because it's the one cab, one cab, that needs it more than every single other one. So with the release of the Deluxe cabinet, they have to make it taller. They have to make the screen come up higher. It's not necessarily overall the height of the cab, because the height of the cab was right on spot with every other arcade one up released to date. It was just the fact the screen was so low. We don't need to be shooting that stuff that's down around our crotch level. And last but not least, the one that I have the least problem with, but a lot of other people went on to do, was the fact that 
they thought the screen was too small for a gun shooting game and a lot of people did the big buck hunter screen mod here you can see our good friend b kong did it b did it our good friend cool toy did it cool toy did it big boy did it even Big Boy did it. I'm just kidding about that last part. But anyways, a lot of people felt that the screen was way too small on the Big Buck Hunter world. So, on the deluxe version, I don't think we're going to get this one. And it's the smallest complaint from my side. But a lot of people are going to say, I'm surprised you didn't make the screen bigger. And screen is really the last point I want to bring up here because... I have been saying all along, I did think we would eventually get a re-release of Big Buck Hunter, but not in the deluxe format. I thought if they were ever going to release Big Buck Hunter, the right move was to actually release it in Excel. If you take a look at the Excel titles they've released previously, they've released Golden Tee and they've released NBA Jam. And those games are synonymous not just for being in arcades, but also showing up in bars dorms, people's game rooms, they have a certain feel to it, and Big Buck Hunter fits exactly into that format. I remember seeing Big Buck Hunter not once in the arcades growing up, but I sure as shit remember seeing it in pool halls and bars all the time. So for me, an XL Big Buck Hunter just made sense, and it seemed like a cabinet people would buy to put in their downstairs, bars, game rooms, whatever. Ever. The other benefit of having the XL Big Buck Hunter is everybody, everybody complains about the 17 inch screen so an XL would at least give them an additional 2 inches with a 19 inch screen which may quell that problem. Anyways, it doesn't look like the XL cab this year is going to be Big, B Big Buck because it looks like they're releasing it in the deluxe format. The other thing I think people will complain about, I saw B talk about it in his community post. The deluxe format is a little confusing for people now because they thought it was really just held for re-releases like the Legacy line, not necessarily games re-release like Big Buck Hunter. And at a time when people are complaining about a company that doesn't release any new IPs and just re-releases cabinet, here is yet again another re-release. Anyways guys, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this information coming out of Randy's Records? Arcane 1-Up, Big, Big Buck Hunter Deluxe. Do you think that this leak is accurate? Do you think we're actually getting a Big Buck Hunter Deluxe cabinet this year? And if so, are you excited about it? And do you agree with the recommendations I have that Arcane 1-Up needs to do to make this a better overall product? Anyways guys, thank you so very much for watching. This is Michael B. The Game Genie. I'll talk to you next time.